Whether you're my age, Amy's age, or Summer's age, going to the zoo is a great family outing. That's right, and we have a special guest along for our adventure today, Morgan's granddaughter, Summer, and we're so excited because we're here for our first time at Bright Zoo. It's just seven miles past Jonesboro on your way to Greenville, and we're going to go in and give you the tour of a lifetime. Tour of a lifetime. This is their sixth season, and now there's something new. This season, we're allowing guests for general admission, which means they can go on a self-guided tour. They can take their time. They can spend as much time at the zoo as they want. Directly in front of us right now, these are our white-bellied spider monkeys. This is a group of girls, Chloe, Bethany, and Molly. Uh, what I'm going to be treating them with is called a zoo snack. You can buy these at Sam's, <laughs> but they're 100% fruit. And it's something all the girls, all these guys really enjoy. So you see that hand sticking back out again to rush me? Aww. Ready? <laughs> all right. Now these three are the only ones really like that. All the other monkeys will reach out and grab it as quick as they can. But this group knows if I do that, I'm gonna get sticky, so they don't try to do that as much. <laughs> right beside of us are the red kangaroos. Now the big guy that's kind of hunched over on the corner, he's actually about six and a half feet tall when he's fully standing up. Wow. Very, very muscular guy. His muscles. Now all the girls in here, they all have a joey in their pouch right now. When the first joey gets too big, they'll kick it out, but it'll throw out to come back for up to a year to nurse. Wow. That's cool. Everybody's always pretty impressed with how close they become to the animals. There's not a lot of distance between going from exhibit to exhibit, so you can take your time. You always have animals in your sight. One of the cool things about Bright Zoo is this interactive display where you get to see the birds. That's right. These little teeth will actually come down and get the nectar right from your hand. Uh-huh. What do you think? Hey, you want some? Come on down. We got an extra hand. As we go up to feed the draft, you want to hold your carrot sideways. Let them come up. They'll normally put their tongue all the way around it. The draft have a prehensile tongue. And then once they've got that tongue on there, you just go ahead and let go, and they'll take care of all the rest. OK, so are they hungry? <laughs> Come on, Valley. I'll do it for you. Let's go, mailman. Who wants a carrot? Come and get it. Salad it's time. Mmm, yummy. Which one do you want? Hmm. Check and I'll go in. with number two. Ah! Awesome. Now, the one that just hit the carrot for you, her name is Valerie. Valerie's about four years old, four and a half years old. That's odd for her to come up. <laughs> Normally, our mailman, mailman comes up. Mailman right now looks like he's enjoying the shade. Do they have back teeth? Because it's like she's chewing they the do. carrot. They do, and then grass are a remnant, so they'll actually take that, chew it up, swallow it, regurgitate it back in their mouth, chew a little more, swallow it again, and I'll do that several times. Huh. So the big sounds that draft make, they're very gassy animals. Sounds familiar. This is, for me, the best job ever. Um, I get to work with something I really care about, and that's the animals. We do a lot of endangered species, so we're helping out the conservation there. So it makes it a very enjoyable job. And the tour all winds up here in the gift shop where you can get something that you can take home for a little memory. What'd you get there? Kangaroo. Oh, that was one of my favorites. And the giraffes. Super cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we want you to come check it out for yourself. You can always check out their website to find directions and hours. Brightzoo.com. It's super fun, right? Mm -hmm.